But six potential trouble for a San Jose restaurant after a car crashed into a group of outdoor diners. As KPIX 5's Devin Feely found out, the restaurant may not have followed city rules. Devin? Yeah, KPIX 5 has learned that the restaurant where this happened, which is right behind me, and you can see all the evidence of that crash, overturned tables and smashed chairs, did not apply for permission for outdoor dining from the city. They just put up a tent table and chairs and open for business. And that raises some serious questions about whether or not they could have designed their setup differently and thus potentially pre prevented a tragedy. Police say the driver lost control of his car, jumping two curbs and crossing the street before plowing into diners. He has a noise, uh, you know, <clears throat> big noise, and, uh, you know, a lot of uh, people. Through an interpreter, Kwai Vu described the chaotic scene at the Grand Century Mall, where he shot this cell phone video showing victims wedged partially under the runaway SUV, others lying prone on the ground, waiting for police and paramedics to arrive. Dine outdoor. Is it dangerous? Jeff Duan says outdoor dining is an accident waiting to happen and believes that physical barriers should be required. Best way for the restaurants to put some kind of barriers, you know, high enough to block the the accident like this. In response to stay at home orders, the city of San Jose, like many communities, quickly created an outdoor dining program, allowing restaurants to expand onto sidewalks, into streets, and into parking lots. While approval is virtually automatic, city officials say Dynasty Chinese, where the accident happened, never applied to the program. This restaurant had not taken advantage of re uh, registering with the program, but it wasn't uh, a situation where we had the opportunity to work with them directly. Nancy Klein, director of San Jose's Office of Economic Development, says the city provides physical barriers, often for free, when restaurants expand onto the sidewalk or out into the street. But outdoor dining in private parking lots is generally given more leeway. And city councilman Johnny Camus cautions against adding more rules for businesses already struggling. There's a certain amount of risk in doing outdoor dining and unfortunately we've learned of it, uh, you know, but the fact of the matter is if we don't allow outdoor dining, these restaurants are going to go out of business. So the city says that there was a real missed opportunity here. By not applying to this program, they say that this restaurant didn't get the benefit of their expertise or feedback on the safety of their setup. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.